Hi guys. Hi guys! We are from WXN. Weekly, a brand of fresh lifestyle. We are your hosts. I'm Winda. And I'm Nadine. And so today, in our fresh and fun podcast, we are going to talk about a very famous and booming topic, which is K-pop. So, you guys must know anything relating to Korean culture. Uh, yeah, it's booming right now, especially from K dramas to K pop and even the Korean dishes. So, because of this, in our podcast, we want to discuss why K pop has such a big influence amongst teenagers and young adults. We also have special guests that are here today with us. One is a good friend of mine, and the other is Vinda's good friend, and they are very into K pop culture. Our guests today are Asarin and also Gifta. Yeah. Hi. So hi. <laughs> hi. Hello. Hello. So Hello. can you help us uh introduce yourself? Okay, sure. I should go first, I guess. Um hi, I'm Gifta. I'm hi. 19. I'm nineteen years old from Indonesia and I like NCT, the boys in CIX, and I've uh, entered the K pop world since two thousand eighteen. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and then Azarin? Okay. Hi, my name is Azarin. I'm 18. I'm Indonesian. And I like BTS. Okay. So, before we get things started, let's get to know how our cool and pretty guests can get into K-pop like they did right now. So, how mm. did you guys get into K-pop until you guys become a hardcore fan of them? Like, you guys never end your day without didn't hear their music or sing their photo, right? I guess you guys have favorite k-pop idols music or even saving their photos or videos on your phone uh yeah uh, i think maybe you want to go first sorry <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay okay yes of course and um it's a common thing for k-pop fans to save the photo in their phone right and mm-hmm. if me i have bts photo more than my own <laughs> i think you guys too yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. If I'm sad or just chilling, I can open my gallery and scroll to watch them again. So, I'm an army, and at first I like BTS songs before really knowing them who they are, right? And yeah. basically, I really like music because music is the way to heal. So, there are songs. Army said, "Ot seven. Okay. It's loving for all the seven members. Okay. okay. So, who is your ultimate bias then in BTS? Jimin. <laughs> okay. And then, Gifta, can you continue by introducing yourself? Like, how okay. did you get into, like, NCT fandom? Oh, yeah. Um, I got into NCT after getting introduced by my friend. But uh, my first fandom was an NCT was BTS. Mm. Um, because a mutual friend of me and Windows actually introduced me to BTS and the whole K-pop. <laughs> um, so at first I only focus on BTS, but uh, from BTS I start to look for other groups and other K-pop songs. And mm. yeah, now my yeah. playlist is just full of K-pop singers, not <laughs> like very little Western singers. So I guess it really affects my music taste as well. Um, and yeah, I agree. I have more videos and pictures of them compared to my my own. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. okay interesting. Interesting. <laughs> so, but like, why did you guys, you know, like, like it so much though? Yeah, because like, there's like, like Justin Bieber or even Maria <laughs> Carey, right? But yeah. why did yeah. you guys just keep pop and like it so dearly? Probably for me. Um, I used to be a One Direction fan actually, and you know, oh. until until now, they're not even. You know, together anymore. No, yeah, they're not even so, active anymore. Yeah, yeah. So, so I was like, okay, I need to find something else to focus on, maybe to as a, you know, as a source of entertainment. And yeah, because of that friend, I got introduced to BTS, and mm. which basically can be like the biggest boy group right now. <laughs> so because of that, 
um, yeah, I started to stalk more on K-pop, and I was like, okay, this is more interesting than I thought. I thought it would be just one direct, like One Direction, you know, singing. That's yeah, it. yeah, But yeah. K-pop yeah, has yeah. so much more. Yeah. Has like true, true. dance, dance videos. They have like variety shows. They have promote here and there, and I think that what makes me, you know, so addicted to it. Like, oh my god, it's so interesting. They, have, <laughs> they always have something new. That's yeah, why yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. How how about you, Azrin? Same, like, same, same thing, same thing. Yeah, but um, other than that, um, basically, I also like Korean culture that they really, they really place a great importance on honor. Yeah, and true, that's true. In the entertainment and music industry, they really accentuate Korean characteristic, right? Somehow, yeah, yeah. It is not only different in language, but. I think Korean music has their own characteristic. Like we can know that oh, it's a K-pop music, and mm-hmm. K-pop music is not just an ordinary music, but the yeah. meaning behind those lyric is the reason why I love Korean singer songwriters too. Mm. Yeah, wow, agree. Winda, oh, did you yeah. hear that? Like it's so nice to hear that K-pop can gather all of us into one yeah. family, like right yes, now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's very, it's very nice to see people around the world. Uh, they have interest in K-pop and they can gather us together and unite us as one. So, Nadine, what session do you have next? I can feel, you know, this really, <laughs> really hot vibe here right now. Well, you guys right, Linda. Now it's time for our hot chili game. As you guys can hear from the game's name, it will be super duper hot and tricky. Okay, first of all, I will explain the game first. So our game called Hot Chili Game has nine numbers. This number contains different questions. Yes, and each person will take turns and choose one number from one to nine. And this will be your question, and you must answer it quickly with, of course, an honest answer. So, okay. you okay. you guys understood? Yeah. Yes, okay. Yes. Yes. That's okay. Fine. Now, can we start with Gifta first? Then, can okay. you choose a number from one to nine? Which one do you want to choose? Mm, I'll pick number two. Okay, number two. The question is, if you can spend time a whole day with one of your favorite K-pop idol, which one will you choose and why? <laughs> Only one, yeah, one. I have like thirty-nine boys. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, I would pick Kevin from the boys because I think I can relate to him the most. Uh, because he's look, he's a Pisces like me, so I'm like, mm. okay. I think by the way he talks and by the way he acts, I can relate to him the most out of everyone. So yeah, I would spend the whole day with him. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, nice. now. <laughs> and then Asari and Max. I pick number one. Okay, number one. Winda, do you want to mention the question? Okay. So, uh, who was your first K-pop crush that made you uh, fall in love and get into K-pop? Okay. Um. My first K-pop crush is Namjoon from BTS because when I first saw him, he brings the leader five and the fact that he is the leader too, so the leader five makes him looks even more attractive, right? And also, yeah, true. Also, he's the rapper, right? And this is the first time I like rap songs and I mm. like to listen to his rap mixed with Korean and English. So he was the first man that pulls me into K-pop world. Okay. Um, and then Gifta. <laughs> okay. So number three to nine. Uh, seven. 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 Okay. Number seven is what is your favorite K pop song right now? Oh only um, one yeah one. Okay, okay. <laughs> the one but ten, been... yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the one that I've been listening to the most these days is Drunk Days by N Hypen. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. it's very addictive. Yes, and oh my god, I'm starting to get into them as well. So they're so cute, and yeah, that's my favorite song right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who are they, but hey, nice. they're BTS's brothers. <laughs> oh, I, I it's I really famous. Group. You know, we know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you should listen to their know. music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Okay, okay. Okay, then Azarin. <laughs> okay. Um, I pick number five. Okay, okay, number five. So, Winda? um, which do you like better, K dramas or K pop music? 
Okay. Um, I prefer K-pop music because uh, I can I can listen to to the music while I'm doing my work. I'm doing my work, and then mm. when I'm drawing, when I'm studying, yeah. right? But if K drama, I have to really pay attention to the drama oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because of the subtitle too, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I prefer true, true. K-pop music. Okay. okay, and then Gita. Okay. Um, pick the one that I haven't picked, or yeah, that you haven't picked, and Azarin also haven't picked. It's number three, four, six, eight. Uh, and I'll pick nine. number four. Okay, number four. four is what is your current favorite boy group for any generation of K-pop? Could be more than one. Mm, okay. It could Do be you from want... first generation or second generation also. Okay, the thing is, I don't listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, wait, wait. Of... what's this generation then? It's the third, fourth, third? I think. Third and okay. fourth, right? Yeah, yeah, third and fourth. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, good, okay. So, like I said, I like <laughs> NCT, the boys and CIX, but I, I'm focusing on the boys right now because they're participating in this Mnet, Mnet show, Kingdom. If you ever heard of it, I don't know. Yeah, they're on that on that revival, survival show, so I'm focusing oh, yeah. on that. Yeah, okay. it's it's the boys. Mm. How how is it so far? The kingdom. It's um, you know it, Rina. You know how I, how I have mental breakdowns every Thursday night because of that. But yeah, it's it's just nice to see them performing with other artists like um Icon and um SF9 and those like that. Yeah. Mm, okay. okay. Okay, then Asarin, can you choose another number? Okay. Uh, the number left are three, six, eight, and nine. I pick eight. Eight. eight? Okay. okay. Um, one word to describe you and K-pop. Okay. <laughs> one word. <laughs> uh, it's really hard. Uh, I don't know. Um. Okay. <laughs> Honey, I think. Honey. Honey. <laughs> yeah, because. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for this random an- answer, but mm-hmm. uh, honey, because I fell in love with K-pop and my love is sweet as honey. Wow. <laughs> and honey, oh, and honey is sticky, right? And yeah. I'm stick to K-pop. Oh, that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, then okay. give the. We have number three, six, and nine. Three, six. And nine six. Okay, so the question is, what is your current favorite girl group from any generation of K-pop? Could be more than. Oh, one. okay. I actively listen to G Idol and Red Velvet, so oh. yeah, I guess those two. Yes, because I love them so much. Their music is so good. Yeah, but Red Velvet hasn't have a comeback for I know. like I yeah. think, <laughs> more than a year. I know. Now. I've <laughs> been waiting since. Oh they my God. they keep having solo comebacks, man. I know, right? I need yeah, but, like, like the solo joy, so right? Joy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the solos are good as well, so yeah, yeah I'm not yeah, complaining. True, true. Yeah. You know? Okay, yeah. okay. And then Asarin, we have number six and also nine left. Okay, I pick uh number six. Okay. Six. Okay. Uh, which song and dance choreo- choreography <laughs> do you like the most right now from your favorite K-pop idol and okay. why? Um, if from BTS, I think I cannot choose, but maybe my favorite is from Anpan Man because the choreography is fun, right? And yeah. it's so cute. Yeah. And then uh, if from Enhypen, I like Fever. Okay, <laughs> and then because because uh it's just released I think on last Thursday I guess, and it's yes. so uh the choreography it's similar ra- like BTS, blood sweat and tears yeah. choreography I guess yeah okay and then for Gifta this is the last question number nine, okay. if you have opportunity to get cast by two of the Big three companies. Which company do you choose? It's from SM <laughs> Entertainment, JYP, and YG. Hey, this one gives us favorite questions. Can you hear how? Oh my god, I can't even. Because <laughs> honestly, those three. Uh uh-uh. uh But if I have to pick 
two out of three. I would pick SM and <laughs> JYP, I think. JYP, but, why yeah. JYP and SM? Uh, oh, no, I'm re- considering. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> no, but honestly, out of the three, I can only... I feel like SM is the one that always have um have their own style and their whole own concept and you always start a new concept it's like a trend yeah, true, 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 true. so yeah. yeah i really like that from sm um jyp is well honestly i don't know much about jyp other than them having so many comebacks in a year yeah that's like that's so tiring <laughs> but for i don't i don't pick yg because um i guess uh i feel like they have so many mistreatments in that that company oh, yeah. and of the yeah. channel but hey, Blackpink songs are good, so <laughs> I don't know. If I get casted, I would still pick, I guess. But out of the three, I picked two of them, like that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay, okay. Nadine, can you feel the vibe from the hot chili? Of course! Yeah. Yeah. Like super duper yeah. hot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like me. So I think, right? <laughs> Ooh. Panas. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, Minda. I have something to make us chilling like a rah, rah, rah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys got that reference, but... <laughs> uh, is that Blackpink yes, reference? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah oh. it's called Ice Cream. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so uh, I guess um, now we can go to our next session called This or That, right? Yes, you are right, Linda. So now it's time for This or That session where you guys will be given five questions. And for this session, one question is for all of the guesses. And all of the guesses must answer it directly after the question is being told by the host. And must only choose one. Okay. 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 Should we start then? Yeah, yeah, let's start, let's start. Okay. So, Gifta and Asari. The okay. first one is, mm-hmm. have opportunity to meet your bias, but they ignore you all day. Or haven't oh. get the opportunity to meet your bias in real life, but have one day access to talk with them via text. Uh, I would pick the second one. Okay, the second one. And how about you, Azari? I pick the second one too because I don't like to get ignored. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but you come with your bias, like you will see their true face. Yeah, and but... you can touch them now, but like they didn't. Uh, no no I your reaction. I think no. uh, I yeah, the I second think... one. <laughs> okay. okay. And then, okay. Linda, can you uh, tell the second question? Okay. Uh, the second question is, um, you're either with makeup or without makeup. <laughs> okay. Uh, if me, I think with makeup because. Because uh, they have their own, you know, like something that they that they like about how they look, right? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. It's just a, it's just the same like us. Like we prefer to wait to wear makeup, right? Sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. to make but, us up, like yeah. Yeah, but actually both are okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. Mm-hmm. How about you, Gu? I have the same answer. Yeah, if, you know, if they want to go with okay, makeup, sure. If they don't want to, then sure. Mm. I think that. Okay. Yeah. okay. And then next question is, I think you guys will have like confusion to choose this. First okay. is go to a concert or go to a fan meeting. Fan <laughs> <laughs> um, meeting, I think, is less than an hour run. Yeah. 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 Mm. Maybe give that can go first. Uh, <laughs> you need time to okay. think. Yeah, I need time to think. <laughs> I would probably choose concert because concert is very long and you kind of can vibe to the music. You know, you want to hear your idol songs in real life too, right? And then if you bring yeah. a friend, it would be so much fun. Yeah, I would yeah, pick yeah, true. Concert but you again. couldn't like talk to them lah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but I think because, you know, one of the reasons why I like hip hop and hear music, and I really want to just vibe to it like live. Okay. You know? Yeah, I would just that. And then, how about you, Azarin? Same Have same. you think about it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I choose concert because it's longer and. <laughs> yeah. It's worth the money, Laya. Yeah, 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 it's more yeah, worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the chance 
to get a fan meeting ticket is so rare. Hard. Yeah, it's yeah. very yeah. difficult. Yeah. Yeah. You must be like extra rich. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not rich. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> How long is a fan meeting? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it could be as long as concert. Just that you know, it's mostly talking and them playing games. It's yeah, I think so it's different from every fan meeting, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I think every artist has their own timing. Yeah. And like, uh, if you're doing a fan meeting, you can have like, uh, getting moved by the bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think like true. if you go to like a BTS fan meeting for example for one member you can only have like maybe five to ten seconds with the yeah, idol. Yeah, that, that's that's very quick. This very quick. So, yeah. so basically you just hi, hey, hi, 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 bye, bye. Yeah. <laughs> you can them like headband or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Next question. Um, yeah, I I'll say the question. Yeah, sure. Okay. Do you guys have one signed album or have almost all albums but non signed of your favorite <laughs> K pop idol? It must be hard. <laughs> I think um, one signed album because actually I'm not really collecting albums, yeah. Like it's not a <laughs> big problem to me if I don't have their merch because uh, my, my, the one that entertained me is. From the video, not from the yeah. merch, actually. <laughs> okay. So, but if I have a chance to get the signed album, I will pick the signed album. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. How about you, Give? How, how about you, Give? Oh, this is difficult because I collect albums. <laughs> um, ah, same. <laughs> <as you. laughs> I collect albums for my stuff. Okay, it's so addictive, right? Like at I first know. you just want one album, and then like you suddenly yeah. want to collect all them all. Like yeah, oh my God. there's a uh, like. Interesting five slot to open unboxing the album. Yeah, and the curious yeah, like which right. photo card do you get? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's why it's all right. But the question says have almost not all albums. So I'm just gonna pick the other one, the first one. Have one signed album. Mm, okay. I think you'd be really cool to get signed. Uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, <laughs> this is the last question. Okay, be in one friendship circle with your favorite K-pop idol. But your K-pop idol doesn't like you, <laughs> or can meet them all day and be their manager. But like, of course, if you be their manager, they will be like, don't like you maybe, <laughs> or think you're bossy. <laughs> but you but can you meet them manager. all day, yeah. But if friendship circle, like, you cannot meet them all day, right? Um, yes, but you know, they can't live without their manager, so I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true. <laughs> yeah, they need me. Wow, okay. So I think I'll be the second one. Like, you know, you okay. have to listen to me, or else your the CEO will call you, you know? <laughs> yeah, so I think I'll be the, I'll pick the second one because it'll be fun, I think, managing them. Mm, true, okay. True. You're okay. the same, Asarin? Yeah, yeah, of course. And with them all day, right? So. Yes. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you know, you might get along with your manager. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Like, I think if I'm not mistaken, uh, you guys know Chung Ha, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think she's like really good friends with her manager. Oh, oh and also yeah. Ayu, man. Do you know? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Ayu, Ayu, Ayu yeah, 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 yeah. She's yeah. literally Ayu. friends with everyone, like the bodyguard and your manager. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So um, after that game. Do you guys like feel more chill and you know? Yes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we now should we continue with our chitty chatty session with our lovely guests here today? Sure, sure, Nadine. <laughs> okay. Now I'm really curious how all of you guys here like K pop so much. <laughs> and it's, uh, I'm guessing it's been more than a year since you guys like it. Um, yeah, since, you know, from how you guys talk about it, I feel like mm-hmm. it's been a long time. Yeah. So, uh, what made you guys, like, stay so loyal to K-pop? Yeah, indeed, Winda, it's so long, right? And I'm really curious as well how you guys can stick to becoming K-pop fans like you guys did right now. For me, personally, <laughs> I'm a K-pop fan and also an ARMY. And for me, seeing BTS, my favorite boy band struggle to get their popularity like right now. And also listening to their catchy and also inspirational music and 
dance in their songs is the one that make me stay liking them like right now and especially now in this pandemic i easily get bored and sad and with them and also k-pop makes me strong and happy again by the way why am i talking <laughs> i'm not good guess right okay that's my opinion how about you guys then okay who's that first <laughs> no, I didn't go first. I'm thinking okay, okay. about it. <laughs> okay. Um, because K-pop has always something new, mm-hmm. and yes, right. I like the concept that they show to us. And by the way, I'm a design student, right? So, oh, every, nice. Yeah, yeah. Every that time, every time the music <laughs> video uh, is <laughs> out, I always watch it. Like, uh, I I replay at. a uh, thousand times i guess <laughs> like i want to i want to see the detail oh, I, really, i really like uh, seeing music video like that and then uh, i agree mm. with what nadine said like uh, especially when the pandemic starts mm. it's all fine right yeah, yeah. And then after one month i'm suffering mm. you know i also get <laughs> sad easily yeah. tired easily like there's no motivation in life and mm-hmm. i'm so bored with my yeah. life but <laughs> if there's k-pop like there's always something new there's always something to <laughs> to see to see something new yeah like <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. interesting yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah i understand, I understand. Mm. sometimes you know we get especially in this pandemic Yeah. Um, we get bored and yeah. like there's not really nothing to entertain us with. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, so we have something to do. Yeah, yeah. Us, yeah. True, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I am actually a second semester of medical student. Actually, um, so it's Winda knows how stressful my UD life yeah, is. Yeah, it's not me that is I have. I have lectures sometimes until Sunday, so it's really crazy. So I think I don't think I would survive without K-pop actually, because it's kind of like my source of entertainment and like mm. a, escape from reality, kind of. Um, and also a source of motivation because you know how hardworking they are. Yeah, they, they train. Yeah, it's very hard. Like, yeah, before they even debut, it's very hard. For yes, them. yeah. Some yeah. of them, some of them train for not even ten years. I think, and then making their debut, of course, they need to climb up to the charts. You know, mm-hmm. like, yeah, true. Like yeah. BTS as well, it takes them time to get so popular, right? Right. Yeah, now. yeah. So. Yeah. Um, it really kind of shows me like okay if they can work hard and I should work hard in uni as well so yeah yeah other than entertainment it's a source of um, inspiration and motivation so that's why I'm loyal to K-pop I guess yeah okay mm-hmm. okay so um, so basically it's like uh, you're loyal to k I mean forgive that yeah. you're loyal to K-pop because you admire their like their hard yeah. work yeah Yes. Okay. Other than their music, of course, it's yeah, their hard work. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. Uh, anything else you guys want to say? If me, I don't know. This is just my dream, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like yeah. I really want to work in in music and in oh design industry. Like it's so interesting to work with them, especially. Mm, yeah. And I I always hope I'm hoping that I can work as their I don't know photographer or anything mm, like yes. in, in you arts. mean you want to become a BTS photographer right? <laughs> yeah, photographer or even the one who edits their videos yeah like mm. connecting to connecting to design and video lah okay mm, yeah. okay oh you all better upload this to hype so. They can hire <laughs> Azri. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe yeah. Uh, in the table. If you hear this, you can enter my yeah. Phone. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I find that interesting. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And designing. Oh. Yeah. How how's, right. how? Yeah. How how's designing? What like? What do you what do you do there? Uh, I do I do design in Instagram feeds, story, ah, uh, in social oh. media. And mm-hmm. you know what? In in Instagram, in BTS Instagram, the the big hit entertainment thing. Yeah. I think the Instagram is not is not really structured. Like 
Sorry, I'm just call the CEO right now. <laughs> it's just my own opinion. Like, it's not. I don't know. the The design is you can it you can make it more interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, true. Because also they're like one of the biggest. Yeah, I guess, like, that's why. Yeah. Biggest. Uh, what do you call it? Companies, I guess. Mm-hmm. So. Kind of yeah. disappointing that their Instagram feed is uh, <laughs> yeah. boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they can make it better, lah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, my mm-hmm. dream job is to become a doctor. So why should <laughs> should I become their personal doctor? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah. I mean, no. It's I think I guess not. Just that. Yeah, it's all that. I even though I have different dream from them, I guess. The process is kind of the same. Like the motivation should be the same. Like yeah, to hard yeah. work. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, that's okay. all. Okay. Okay. So that that was a, you know, educational. I guess educational. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, educational. Um, thing to hear, from from you guys. Yeah, um, you know. You know, for me, I personally very happy to become a K-pop fan. It makes my life full of colors and rainbows, like as Arin just mentioned earlier. <laughs> as we can have lot of friends from all over the world, right? Since we are connected through one K-pop fandom, and by liking K-pop, who knows can make an income like one of our guests did, as Arin. That oh my god, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she has her own income now, right, as Arin? Yeah, yeah, Ooh. true. Yeah, from designing. Uh, she is now freelancer illustrator designer, right? Yeah, true. Oh, yeah. how's how's that? Like, is it fun? Tiring? It's fun. It is very fun because uh, I draw what I like, right? So, mm. yeah. Okay. Uh, it, what what do you design? Like anything? Like if someone requests, and then you just, you know. Re- you design yeah, whatever they ask. Um, like I design the packaging from, from NCT photo cards. Oh my and god! And then, mm. but this is not not the official, yeah. Oh this is yeah, the yeah. Client <laughs> <fan, laughs> request. Yeah. And oh then, yeah, yeah. I design the tote bag design. Mm. Yeah, like that. Oh, nice. With my drawing. How like how much? If you don't mind me asking, like how much do you mm-hmm. get? From from this job, above one million. Oh, that's so cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's it's that's really cool. Cool. This is like yeah. the positive impact, guys. You must yeah, yeah. Like, as I as your example, not just like buying her, but you have to like have income from what you like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so True. cool. Uh, for Gista, you, if I'm not mistaken, you like collect. A photo cards or something, right? Of course, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's how's uh, how's that? Well, <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> you know? It's kidding. No, yeah, it's actually really fun to collect photo cards. Um, uh, just you know the the thrill of it, like finding it and then getting it chipped into your house and then. When you unpack it, you kind of like, ah. so yeah. I, like, I do like uh, collecting the photo card from like unboxing the yes. album or like you're buying it from a collector. Oh, for usually if I get the one from an album, right, and then if it's not my bias, I would trade it with other other fans. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of buying it again, because sometimes mm. you get it's more expensive. Yeah, because oh. like sometimes you know I heard one mm-hmm. of. Uh, BTS is photo card the JP one. Mm-hmm. They sell for like more than five million rupiah. Oh, oh my god! Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh my god! I've yeah experienced the same thing. It's actually a photo card from the boys Ju Yeon. Uh-huh. He's the most expensive member in the group because he is so famous. I think one of the photo card reaches up to eight million. Oh my eight god! Million. Yeah, it's very yeah. expensive yeah. for like one photo card. <laughs> yeah, because you know he has a lot of fans, and then that photo card is super super limited. I think it only like uh, produce like a hundred per member. Oh. So yeah, see, it reaches up to eight million. I was like, no, oh. I'm not getting this. No, okay. <laughs> that's the <laughs> limit for me because I'm so broke. <laughs> that was safe. But yeah, other uh, than that, I 
I only buy the ones that I can buy, you know. So mm. I'm still happy from it. <laughs> so yeah. like from uh what you've collected, is it like a lot so far? Uh, the yeah, photo cards. It's quite a lot. I have like two binders of it. One is for Wow. <laughs> yeah. One is for Ten from Wavy and the other one is Hyunjae from the boys. I have mm. another one for CIX, but I don't really collect them. Only those two, Ten and Hyunjae. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, just a like a, a little like not disclaimer, mm. but explain the price. It's not in dollars. It's in rupiah. Oh, yeah. Just, in just, rupiah. just, just to mention that it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> for for the people please. who are listening, it's not like eight million dollars or anything. It's like I think no. in, in rupiah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's eight hundred Singapore dollars. I yeah. think. Yeah, if you convert it. More or less, it's eight hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But yeah. I don't buy up to like that that much. You know, it's it's what? crazy. I have other things to buy. You know? mm, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. like you need a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So from your like your price range for uh in buying the photo cards, what what is it like? Two hundred thousand, uh, which is twenty dollars. Oh. Or the... more. The cheapest I, one, I think, I'll just say the cheapest and the most expensive. The cheapest one that I get is actually 16,000 rupiah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cheap, right? Yeah, yeah, I got it from a Korean seller, 16,000 rupiah. And the most expensive is 600,000? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, never, yeah. Reach, never reach 1 million. So, I'm not, I'm not planning to do so. <laughs> yeah. So, you won't, you won't get, no matter how much you like the members, you won't get like a photo card above no um, 600 or 800 yeah no because honestly i love them so much but i think it's worth it because probably because i'm in uni you know i have things to buy for my mm. uni stuff yeah, 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 yeah. yeah especially in med school you need to buy stethoscope and all these things and yeah i don't think mm-hmm. I, I should spend more than a million for k-pop stuff no, for okay. photo card, not keep up now. Photo card. <laughs> no, for <laughs> photo card, yeah. Okay. 600,000 rupiah, I guess it's really, really expensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nadine, do you have like, you? I heard that you also collect cards, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. Ooh, what's Is your most like? expensive? Yeah. <laughs> I think the most expensive photo card I just bought is. Taehyung's photo card from BE fan meeting because oh. it's limited. I got it for oh. like 900 something group. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, that's crazy. But like it's limited. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know like I don't know after I'm buying it if I regret it or not but like I'm thinking like how much money did I lost in one day. Oh, right. of- <laughs> but like when the photo card came, I think like super excited. But I yeah, won't yeah. let anyone touch it. <laughs> okay. That's true. Hmm. Uh by the way, a photo card I'm I'm gonna explain this also. A photo card is like I guess it's something that you get from buying a K-pop album, right? It's like It's not like selfie. only from K-pop album, actually. Like, you will get it from like, for so, like, example, merchandise? Uh, uh, if yeah. one idol have like collaboration with one brand, like makeup brand or mm. something, oh. they will send like a free merchandise line, like photo card. Mm. And usually it's limited and yeah, people yeah. will sell it like double price. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get it from pre-order okay. benefits as well. Pre-order benefits. Yeah, usually mm-hmm. the pre-order benefits is like mm-hmm. rare, I think. Yes. Okay. Uh, so Do you buy like really... photo card as well, Linda? Maybe me? Oh, yeah. um, not really. I just <laughs> usually I just get photo cards from the you know from albums. Album. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I- I'm really satisfied with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't go out of my way to actually like go Good. online and yeah. I'm more interested in collecting K pop albums but I haven't been collecting this okay. past few yeah. It's too expensive man. Yeah, yeah it's very expensive. True. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. It's just like a paper, right? That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah, true, true. But you know, it's like the thing like the difference between like a K pop album and uh Western people's 
Oh yeah, like, I, I guess don't... like in Western we don't have like photo yeah. card or yeah. 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 We but only then, have like, like the CD. Oh, yeah. I think we don't have like photo book also, right? For yeah, Western. No, yeah. no, no, we don't. We just have like the <laughs> lyrics book, you know. Which yeah, is like yeah, yeah. so lame if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yeah, and then and then you compare it to like a K-pop album. A K-pop album it has photo book, uh, yes. the photo card, stickers, stickers. Yeah, like yes. So it's like worth collecting, you know. Yes. Yeah, collecting. But you have like. To have like more money than collecting Western album if you want to collect yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, true, true, true. Azrin, do you 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 don't what? collect like no, albums no, no. or anything? Uh, I don't really collect their merch actually because like just like what I said, it's not a big problem for me if I don't have the merch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I have the the J Hope photo card from Maddie Hill, I guess. Because someone, oh. someone gave me, my client gave me, right? And then, yeah, yeah I have the J Hope one. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. So, like, where, where do you keep it? I stick it on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> right in Is front that like... of my desk. So, every oh, time okay, yeah. I will see him. Is that like your only photo card, or you have like a few? Only that. Oh, okay. oh wow, okay. So <laughs> like, really really like, like, yeah, yeah. It's okay, save money. <laughs> yeah. <True>. True. <laughs> yeah. So Winda like K pop ended have like a big impact, right? Yeah. It really does. Like it's interesting to know that um how K pop is so like it really impacts someone's life because mm-hmm. they they're really willing to uh, by like just a photo card. Photo card is really, literally like a selfie of them, a picture. Of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and people are willing to buy like for eighty dollars. Uh, I mean, not eighty dollars, eight hundred dollars, sixty dollars, whatever, whatever the amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you guys here know like the first time K-pop became so huge? Oh, this must be a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's. Uh, I think you guys know this. Uh, K-pop is not only famous in the original car, uh, country, uh, but also worldwide. Even the former president of the U of the United States, Barack Obama, likes K-pop. Yeah, 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 I'm true. Yeah, and he even danced to it. Um, <laughs> he danced uh, the the really famous. A uh, song by PSY. Is it PSY or Psy? PSY, right? Yeah, PSY. Yeah. I think I, I must Psy. feel this too with you guys. Like, you guys know this as well, I think. So, the first K pop that hit Billboard Hot 100 chart at least like eight times, I think in 2009, because of a song by a South Korean girl group named Wonder Girls. Do you know the song Nobody by Wonder Girls? Yeah, nobody, nobody but you. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> that song got like Billboard Hot 100 chart for at least eight times that year. Wow. And yeah, that album is the first time South Korean artist got into Billboard, which is yeah. huge. It's just, yeah, it's huge. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You are very right. <laughs> and not only that, not only that, but uh, I think you guys are familiar with Big Bang's song called Fantastic Baby, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. This song uh, made Big Bang, aka one of the first few South Korean boy bands to get, uh, no, I think it's the first, yeah, it's the first Korean, South Korean boy band group to get uh, that, that song featured in a Glee episode. Oh. And because of that, it like uh, green lit the K-pop industry into American entertainment. I am. Mm-hmm. I remember that time when Big Bang's Fantastic Baby was played everywhere on the radio, public places, etc. But do you guys know after that, we have Gangnam Style by PSY, like what Linda has mentioned earlier, right? Yeah. yeah. The music video became the most viewed video in history in 2017. And after that, boom! <laughs> you become so huge, like it is right now. 
many K-pop generation like you know Ghost Generation, Twice, BTS, NCT, ITZY, and other K-pop idols that are well known not only in South Korea but also worldwide. Yeah, that's true. Um, uh, I think you guys obviously you guys know this group Twice. They also get um the most viewed music video every time like a new music video for the come for the comeback. Yeah, oh. and also know that based on a poll from Hallyu, it's written that mm-hmm. most of the streamers for the music videos are not Korean citizens, but from people um worldwide, like from Indonesia, Malaysia, oh. Taiwan, USA, and Hong Kong. Cool, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Tell me, yeah, tell me if it's true. cool. Right? People are really short <laughs> right now. <laughs> I remember when I went to Thailand and the hotel staff where I stayed had twice song called Cheer Up as his ringtone. Do you know like the part where Twice's members Sana have part like shy 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 part? Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, the staff have that as his ringtone. But yeah. do you know K-pop is indeed really a world domination nowadays? It's not because I'm an army, yeah, but I need to spill this tea. Do you know that BTS got nominated earlier at the Grammys before oh, yeah. of their hit song called Dynamite? And their oh, song yeah. got into the highest rank of the chart outside South Korea for more than, I think it's more than a few months, right? Which is a great achievement, I think. Oh. Yeah, especially for um, South. Especially for. With, uh, uh, Asian, like an Asian, I guess like an Asian group or whatever. It's like representation, you know, like mm-hmm. in the first time in forever. Like, yeah, uh, because it's hard for nominated. them to get into it, right? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it's true. Like, because you know, in American, I think in like any, especially in American, uh, in the American entertainment industry, like you don't really see like any representation, representation of like Asians or anything. It's most of the time like it's always, you know, they're making fun of us or mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So it, it's it's really impressive how you know like especially now that finally we get to see like other races. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, it's so great to see how K-pop is really huge now and mm-hmm. can unite us all in language. Eh, so language and distance is not a problem for us right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it also can be proof from what we experience right now. We like K-pop artists, but at first we don't know their language and we live in different places and we still like them so dearly. Even Yeah, true. Yeah. Even now, we are willing to go to South Korea and visit them. <laughs> and also, we're also willing to study like Hangul, their yeah. national language. Yeah. So there's mm-hmm. a lot of good impacts indeed. But did you know Nadine and our mm-hmm. charming guest? Uh, even though there are so many good impacts from liking K-pop, we must be aware there are some things that we should be aware of. So it won't make a difference in our lives. So it won't damage our lives. Uh, yeah, you're right, Winda. Yeah. As you guys can know, like, it's important for us to be, like, aware of liking K-pop. Like, we should, like, keep up in reasonable limits. Like, like, you know, I think you guys already know about this, but I must tell you here, in this case, in case our audience who might hear our podcast today will know about this. So you guys, especially girls, must want to have an hourglass body like K-pop idols, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. for me, like, I personally once like really obsessed with getting an hourglass body and slim figure like you know yuna from itzy or mm-hmm. even like rose from blackpink because they are my bias but like my body shape is like rectangle one so like that time i searched online on how they did for like their diet and what is their height and weight and what workout did they do and for that time i experienced like insecurities with my body image so like I don't like my body because, like, I always compare my body image with them who has, like, slim bodies, like, K-pop idols. 
which I think like their weight is 43 until 48 kilogram mm-hmm. and have our glass body so for that time I had like anxiety like if I eat too much so I was only eating like I think boiled white eggs and fruits for like few months yeah because like I searched wow. on YouTube about the diet right you know that yeah. I think it's mm-hmm. called uh, I'm sorry if I'm wrong I think it's Kentucky Kentucky diet or something oh. mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. So like at that time for a few months I got like underweight and was ho- hospitalized because oh. of it. But after that oh. I realized that I was wrong so I stopped and now yeah, I love myself like one of my favorite boy band BTS member <laughs> RM said like we should love yourself so yeah I love yeah. myself. Yeah, true. Yeah. Mm. Great uh interesting story. Uh and glad that you don't mind sharing that to us. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, did you guys uh know even the one of Mama Moose member Hwasa? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She also makes um she really makes the beauty standard in South Korea different now. Yeah, because yeah, like from, Korean from what standard heard, is like really hard man. Like you have to have like slim body or yeah, glass yeah. like really I think pale skin right yeah 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 pale skin and then too. double eyelids then yeah like you like Nadine also said you have to be you have to follow this specific weight which is like really bad for your body mm-hmm. yeah yeah yeah. Really... But, yeah so um have you guys you know have like an experience like that or any other bad experience from you know liking k-pop Yeah, like the this advantage thing, lah. Yeah, we could yeah. say. Yeah. Um. Yeah, mm-hmm. Azrin, you can okay, go okay. first. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> If me, I I don't have, like, yeah, I know the limit. Yeah, it's great, then. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, right. <laughs> as long as you know the limit, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, sure. But how do how do you like you know, I th- I mean, for some people, they really can't control it. Like hold mm. hold themselves back from liking K-pop. Maybe you could point, like give yeah. uh, some tips lah, like, uh, and the audience yeah. tips lah, like, Zarich. Okay, like okay. what's what's your like, you know, how how do you handle it? Um, you can love other, but you still have to put yourself first. Mm. Like mm. okay, uh, like I love BTS so much, but mm-hmm. but I have to love myself too. Right? Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to remember you have to love yourself. Okay. Yeah. And how about you then, Gifta? Um. Well, I don't have a problem with me because I'm sure that I know where to, you know, stop myself. You know, you draw the line between, uh, you between all the stuff. But I think what I observe is that, you know how. K-pop can be, the fandom especially can be very toxic sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with the fan wars and such. Um, I guess that's a negative side. And me as a K-pop photo card collector, I can see the negativity very well from from that hobby, because people, mm. you know, they they always force themselves to buy something that they cannot afford. You know. Yeah, something. Well, sometimes it's impulsive. Right? Yeah, like it's exactly impulsive. I mean, like. Collecting is not something that is compulsory in K-pop, yeah. right? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just And, it's basically like a hobby, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's a. I think a lot of the K-pop fans don't know that it's a hobby that not everyone can do it. You know, like if you don't have the money, then don't do it. You know, because you're just putting yourself in misery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Forcing so yourself true. to buy something so expensive. Um, I think a lot of K-pop fans, unfortunately, still don't see that. You know, and. Thank God that I can draw the line. Though, if it if it reaches too much, I won't buy it. But there are so many that would would uh sing um borrow money from their parents and even oh, their wow. friends yeah. and like that yeah, to yeah, afford yeah. millions uh yeah uh photo card at worth millions and things like mm-hmm. that. And yeah, a lot of people don't see it. You know, so it's sad. I think that's the negative side of K-pop. They force themselves too much. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So remember, guys, especially for our listeners out there who like K-pop, we still have to limit it to reasonable limits. So yes. we are still in our state of mind. Yeah. Yep. Yes, yeah. that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but yeah, K-pop can also teach us how to handle our money. Yeah, that's because, why. <laughs> yeah, well, to so, like K-pop, it's really expensive. From buying yeah, the yeah. albums, merchandise, then also attending concerts, etc. Yeah, yeah. So by that, K-pop fans would have the will to save up more and they can buy things to accomplish their hobby. Yeah, you are right, Winda. When you know when I first got into K-pop, my bank account was often empty. <laughs> you know, I did. Be- be- before you uh, move on, uh, when I also started to like K-pop, I experienced the same thing. <laughs> like, I yeah, really couldn't handle. Because I really like we cannot save manage money. our money right at that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I would always do like impulsive buying, like. If my favorite artist met a comeback, I always like yeah. thinking that like, I have to have this. So like you know, there's a pride, right? When you have it. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do like always do like impulsive buying, yeah. and when I there's a comeback, I always want to buy like their album and also merchandises. But I didn't save like any money at the time. So like <laughs> you know, like in this life, like I have like more important thing to buy right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like maybe like snack or if uh, um for uh, mobile data but i didn't save up my money at the time so like i didn't have enough money and was really suffering at that time like you know like the feeling when you want something but you couldn't afford it right yeah, yeah. so mm-hmm. uh yeah to the point that my mom scolded me and I realized that I need to manage my own money and do something to make sure I have money and I can buy things that can satisfy my hobby. And this is proof right now. I can buy like <laughs> any of my favorite artist albums or uh, even merchandises like yeah. BT21. You know BT21 oh, things so is cute. expensive like sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Expensive. yeah. Yeah. But now, like, I can have them, like, with my own money, lah, yeah, without mm-hmm. getting broke, of course. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But, uh, the, what, what do you call it? The BT21. BT yeah. It's, yeah. it's a doll, right? Uh, like so cute. Stuff. I think, like, it's not just, like, a doll. You can have, like, keychain and yeah. the towel. Yeah. But how much, how much is it, like, for, like, that? It's different that price range, right? Yeah. right? Like, I think, uh, for keychain, it's already, like, uh expensive for me because like i have to convert it to rupiah right from singapore mm-hmm. dollar mm-hmm. and then when i was in singapore at the time i bought the keychain and i think it's already like 20 dollars or something oh, wow yeah because wow. sometimes it's pricey like i don't know maybe because the quality yeah maybe mm-hmm. bts members touch it so it's become <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe i don't maybe. know it's it's that expensive they better touch it <laughs> yeah you know uh what i think is very expensive if uh i don't know if you guys know this but like army must know this and want this water so badly do you know b water oh, oh God, yeah that trendy what's, yeah, what's yeah that? it's like it's a I water think it's expensive <laughs> for like mineral water yeah it's no. legit just water yeah, yeah. it's just water <laughs> with BTS on the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very wow, like, expensive, okay. man. Like, I don't know. Like, at first, like, I want to buy it, but, like, I'm thinking again, like, is it worth it if I buy it? <laughs> I, I don't think it's worth it. It's it's literally just water. water you know? yeah, just yeah. water. And do you know, Winda and our guest, like, uh, BTS have, like, the coffee, right? That have their face as their uh the coffee cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I didn't drink coffee that much because like I cannot drink coffee because I will mm-hmm. have like stomach ache. BTS was on the cover. I want to buy like <laughs> all of the members. <laughs> yeah, so like I think it's almost complete right now. Yeah, <clears throat> only our yeah. ever left. I think that I haven't buy. And I think, like, sometimes the seller will sell it with, like, double price. Oh, wow. wow. I see. Like, in, in all my country, uh, we have, like, one coffee that have Lucas from NCT. Oh, yes, new coffee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, you know, like, uh, they all also give, like, free photo card on yes. it. Yes. <laughs> I saw online. Yeah, some people 
sell it with like I think it's unlogic price man like I think yeah. it's almost 1 million rupiah FYI oh my wow. god wow oh my god and the coffee is just how much is the coffee like I think well, it's you don't have unla- to pay much right yeah, yeah. No, no. I think and it's 1 dollar yeah, in Singapore it's very cheap oh, $1? and like Uh-uh. And honestly, the quality is not even that good. <laughs> <They're both Nah. laughs> so like, why would you sell it for one million? Like, yeah, yeah. Did, did you get it, Gif? I did. did right? Yeah, I did. But I did you get the, the, like five packs of the cup oh, coffee? Oh wow! Oh really? Showing my. But did you get the yeah. photo card? Yes, I got it. Oh, of course. Oh. Do you know, like, <laughs> even like uh, recently, like Tokopedia have collaboration with BTS, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. and then uh, I don't know like what to buy, but because like they have the limited photo card, oh, I buy God. like anything like sanitizer and then like <laughs> eyebrow, which I didn't really need it, but I I think like I need to buy it because like there's like BTS mm-hmm. photo card and you know like there's like oh yeah. Special vibes, like when you want to have yeah, that yeah. photo card, mm-hmm, because like mm-hmm. you only can get that photo card in like I think it's from 3 p.m. until 4 p.m. I think. Oh wow! Yeah, oh, and yeah, yeah. the first 100 buyer, the one that will get the photo card. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Um. Yeah. Do you guys want to say anything else? Mm, oh, um, no. oh, NTT actually, they are the Natural Republic's uh, brand ambassador, right? Yeah, they also oh, have the yeah. same thing. You have to buy a pack of masks, then you get a photo card. Ah. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I didn't need the mask, but I want the photo card. <laughs> so you buy get, the you, mask. You it? Yes, I bought the mask to get three photo cards. Yeah, so, I'm, what? I bought the photo cards. I got Marks, Hechan, and Johnny's. Oh, and, nice. yeah. oh wow nice and Johnny is my bias mm, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. you yeah. have a lot of bias right? I know <laughs> I know <laughs> in NCT I have like three bias um, but yeah the things that K-pop fans would do for photo cards is crazy mm-hmm. yeah oh I heard like in Singapore you guys like have the BTS gallery thing right oh yeah yeah we do yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. so yeah, cool like, yeah In order for you to get access to that gallery, you must spend like I forgot. Like I think it's like more than a hundred dollar. Huh? What? Really? Hundred dollars? <laughs> I don't know. Like I'm afraid that uh, I'm not correct, but like I think it's like that. Like I heard from Instagram. Mm. Oh, <laughs> it's wow. really expensive, man. Wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. I also want to point out like another bad thing that can come from K-pop. Mm-hmm. Like this is like really bad, you know. Um, like the fans who are like very halu. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like you have like Mia or something. Yeah. 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 What's the uh, the English word for it? Um, delusional. You imagine yeah. so much yeah. Yeah. to the point where they, you know. If one of them have a girlfriend or something, they'd be like, "Oh no, he's mine, not you." Yeah, yeah. and yeah. sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the girl will get bullied, right? Yeah, yeah. And like, look, they have their personal life, you know. Just stay out of mm-hmm. it. You're just a fan, yeah, true, true. you know. Yeah, your yeah. your bias needs to be happy too, you know. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But to be honest, sometimes I did that too. Like I do like <laughs> thing, like at night, especially. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> but yeah you know we have to draw the line you know yeah, yeah. yeah. you really do man yeah like, you're just a fan you know and yeah and the worst thing about it is like they actually fit into it like the k-pop industry mm-hmm. they're like legit man so it's not really the k-pop fans fault also you yeah, also yeah. need to blame like the k-pop industry because they yeah, really yeah. fit into it like um that uh The new K-pop group, Espa, is it? Yeah, Espa. Oh, Espa. Yeah, yeah. With the because they they want they were, they have like two members or something who are like virtual, right? Like all of them four. Like I think, I think four all of them, of them have the yeah. virtual, right? Yeah. Oh uh, okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Which is like really weird, you know. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, that is why like K-pop is unique, man. <laughs> but it's but it's yeah. weird at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like really weird. Yeah. Like, you like some people and these are like underage girls, you know. Oh, so, they might do uh, wrong yeah, things. Do with weird that. things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. yeah, that's that's like one one thing like really negative about K-pop too. Oh, you no, one have, like, thing that is really scary me the most, like, the disadvantage of liking K-pop too much is, you know, like, I don't know how to pronounce it. You know, Sasang fans, I think. Oh, uh, oh yeah, 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 Sasang, Sasang, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sasang, right? Yeah, yeah, it's really, Sasang. like, I think it's really creepy, like, you follow, yeah, like, I heard, true. like, a one time when BTS have concert, I think he posted a picture where, like, which hotel did he stay with BTS? Oh my member. god. Yeah, oh. and they had to change the hotel that day and that time too because like uh, there's a lot of people the Sasang fans came to the hotel and like put like I think it's like hidden camera inside oh their room my oh my god yeah, it's scary <laughs> wow yeah. and like you know like Sehun also experienced such a thing like when he has like uh, you know V Life, right? Like the app oh, yeah. where yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, they mm-hmm. have live streaming with fans, and there's like a lot of like system fans try to call him like oh, multiple yeah, yeah. times, oh, and then yeah. like I think he annoyed with the system fans, man, right? <laughs> yeah, I think like a lot of K-pop idols like they have to deal with that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, um, if you guys watch like any of their V Lives. Some like their phone will ring, yeah, and then yeah, you can yeah. see like their faces will be so yeah. annoyed. Yeah. yeah, but do you know like it's very creepy. Like they are still human, man. Like we have yeah. to still give mm-hmm. them space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Like do you know like I heard like BTS uh Jimin's handbook uh-huh. is being sold online. Oh, oh wow! Really? Yeah, without being hand washed. By the way, oh. so like oh, yeah. it's like okay. fresh from the oven. Like Jimmy, where oh, do you guys God. want it? Yeah, the, oh, the designer God. said it online. I heard it. Ew. Oh, wow. Maybe there's still the sweat. Yeah, yeah. That's why. Like okay. I think that is why. Like the designer said it, and I don't know. I see online and people. There's a lot of people considering in buying it. I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. Okay. It you know some fans are. A little really bit crazy. crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this. I think for that, it's like it's kind of a problem in any industry, to be honest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, even in like Western in like yeah. Western entertainment. You, like, I heard that you know on eBay, they used to sell like, uh, for example, this is just an example. I don't know if they actually do this. Like, yeah. Harry, you guys know Harry Styles, right? Yeah. yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like they would collect his sweat or something, or his oh, yeah. or whatever, and then sell it online yeah. on eBay. Oh my and god! And they, they sell it god. for like a, like a, like a lot of money, you know. In expensive price, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Or sometimes the they were like, they, yeah, uh, eBay also they have like this feature where you can auction, right? Sometimes they would wow. do that, like bid. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. They are not in their state of mind, man. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. That's why, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's another negative side. That creepy, creepy side of K-pop, I mm-hmm. guess you would say. Yeah, so we always have to remember, like, even we like K-pop that much, we have to, like, set our limits, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And even also if... disrespect your idol because your idol is also a human, man. Human, yes. yeah. It's true. Yeah. yeah. What have you guys heard about the what's that the Irene situation? The the she got into a scandal because she was rude to a makeup artist. Oh yeah, oh, Irene. Yeah. Yes, I yeah. Heard. yeah. Well, what do you guys think about that? Well, for me personally, like I think like especially Irene is also a human and also a girl. Like we are also experienced. Like I think at that time, maybe yeah, I don't know. Mm. Like maybe Irene have like menstruation that day so like <laughs> she gets like a, yeah. yeah bad day and then like maybe the hairstylist have did like something wrong that annoyed her and then like mm-hmm. for me like I think it's okay to get 
emotional sometimes. Like maybe she's wrong at the time, like too harsh. But like she is also human. Like how come she always do like something right, like an angel? Like we yeah, did yeah, something true. wrong yeah, there, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. but yeah. like. Why? Because like she is a public figure, like she has to do like I mean, she has to correct. be perfect. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Then, yeah. like right now, after like everyone, I think everyone bullied her, like because of yeah. that, right? Yeah. But now, like everyone is searching for Red Velvet. Like when Red Velvet had a comeback, <laughs> like, as yeah, 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 yeah. But like you guys did that for her first, right? I think mm. like as I might like having difficulty have Red Velvet to come back because like. They will the think like the yeah the scandal thing mm-hmm. like it will impact the company or not if like they have rattles to come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, how about you, uh, Jista and Azrin? Yeah. What What do you think? Um. Well, the the stylist said something right about misunderstanding things like that. Did she? Mm-hmm. I remember. I, yeah. Yeah, I think. I Is it the artist who came up with the statement? Yeah, the the, the, the one who said. Yeah, she she said something about Irene not being rude. I think because the stylist did something wrong, that oh. made her kind of upset. Oh. Um, yeah, so I yeah. guess, um, I guess it's just sad that sometimes the media as well they like to just keep up idols' words sometimes. Yeah, yeah, true, true. true. Yeah, um, just because they're idols, you know, um. I actually have a recent scandal as well in The Boys. I'm not going to explain because it's very long. Basically, mm-hmm. the media yeah. really twisted his words about a very sensitive thing, actually. Wow. But in real- in reality, he didn't say that. So, like, um, I guess the media also contribute a lot to the negativity in yeah. K-pop. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. So, yeah. yeah, and unfortunately, a lot of fans are fooled by that. So I guess yeah. as fans, we need to, you know, research a little bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. be careful and not to yeah, believe yeah. it right away. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you guys know about the ex member of FX Suli? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, because, yeah. I think it's because of the media and the society yes, also. Right? Yeah. That's true. She she got like bullied, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. because like, yeah. I think she has like. More open-minded thinking, lah, yeah. and people mm-hmm. couldn't like accept it. Accept, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, of course. And because like she, I think she once date like one rapper, right? And every one is like, why our precious Suli must date like this kind of toxic man? And then like we don't know like the specific personality of that man, right? So it's yeah, like yeah. we only see him on tv mm-hmm. and only Suli experience it like why we don't let Suli date anyone that she wants mm-hmm. 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 yeah and because of it like i think she has like depression right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah she did yeah. yeah i feel bad for like several people mm-hmm. idols that experience that kind of thing yeah yeah, mm-hmm. too. yeah. Like, you know in order yeah. for like korean media or maybe like any media like in this world Mm-mm. to get know like which idol is dating and stuff they often they like have like an eye 24 hours with that idol man oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. which is like really sad though yeah like, yeah, like they don't have like any privacy yeah it, mm-hmm. it's yeah. like literally like you know sign, signing a deal with the devil i guess yeah, <laughs> kinda, it's kind of dramatic, but it's kind of true you know, <laughs> if you think about yeah. it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, anything to add on? You guys want to say anything more? No, it's okay. No. Me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, yeah. By I guess by liking K-pop. You you would have like a lot of good impact for for sure, but if you don't know how to deal with it correctly, it's like you know you can get out of hand and yeah. you will yeah. have a negative impact. Yeah, like negative in- impact basically. Yeah, but from having lots of like the good impact is yeah, uh, it keeps you motivated, keeps you mm-hmm. less lonely, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then it keeps you happy also. True. And then yeah. you can even. Yeah, you can even have friends like from all with over the country, yeah, all, all over mm. the world, and yeah. you can have interests. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. through Winda, okay. So Winda, it's so nice, right, to have our lovely guests here today with us. It's super fun and mind blowing to have this talk with our fellow K-pop fans. Yeah, it's it's been fun, guys. <laughs> But. Sadly, oh, it's time to you. say goodbye. Yeah, it's so sad. Oh, no. It's time to say goodbye already. <laughs> thank you to all of our guests to have mm-hmm. here the joining with our podcast today. Thank yeah. you, Azarin mm-hmm. and also Gifta. We are so yeah. honored to have you guys here today and talk about this kind of stuff with us. Yes. It was such a great experience to exchange uh, your guys with like mm-hmm. your mm-hmm. thoughts and opinions yeah. with Fellow yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you. It's a, it's a, Thank you for having me. It's, it's a nice talk, it's mm-hmm. like a chat session with all of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Once again, thank you so much for like taking your time to join our podcast. Of course. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Nadine, do you want to do you, you want to close this podcast together? Sure, Winda. Let's do it. I'm Clementina Nadine. I'm Winda Norhani. Thank you for being here with us and listening to our podcast today. We hope that our podcast is useful and entertaining for you guys to hear. Yeah, we are sorry if you know if we made any mistake, like either verbally or yeah, whatever it is. Once again, thanks for being here today with us. I'm Clementina Nadit. I'm Buda Rohani from WFM Weekly. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.